We're good. Let's get this party started. Oh, there's a school. They're busting out there. Of course this happens. This reel kind of sucks when it comes to casting. It's an ancient reel, so. I was just getting bit. Dang it. Just lost a pretty good one. Maybe a two pounder. At least we know this works. First cast on this spot with a crankbait and I hooked into my first fish of the weekend. That is a really big spotted bass right there. That's my PB. Oh, actually, I don't know. All right, let's say goodbye to buddy here. See you later, dude. Thank you. Back to the deep. Got another one. There we go. Got me right on the thumb. Is that good? Man, I'm bleeding in two places from this guy. See you later. It's a big fish down here. It's a gar. The poor guy was hit by a motor prop. That's sad. Do I have him? No, he got off. Just missed him. Okay, there's a really good bass just swimming around down in here. I'm in like half a foot of water. There he is. It's not bad. Oh, he's a spot. I'm catching nothing but spotted bass. There we go. Oh, I might be spitting up shad. Oh, he looks cool. He's dark. Look at his belly. It's like really like. He's very dark. Uh, Isn't he pretty? Hold the bush. No. Wrong way. There he goes. Oh. That looks pretty cool. There we go, that's a good largemouth. That is a good largemouth. Yes, sir. Finally, a largemouth. Right, come on, big guy. Up you go. Nice. Cut that guy right off the rocks. Catch one there almost every time. Dude, you're bleeding a lot. Why is that? There we are. A nice bass, finally. Took me a long time to get a hold of one, but I got him on the crankbait. He looks good. Let's get him back in the water. He's got some bleeding going on. There he goes. Of course this happens, of course. Okay, I was walking right through here, and I slipped right there. This foot slipped out from underneath me, and I totally fell over on my side. And my hands hit, and my face just slammed into this rubber uh, road, <laughs> into this rubber hose. And if this hose wasn't here, I would have busted my face open completely on that wooden dock. That would have hurt like the Dickens, and I would have been bleeding everywhere probably. Yikes. Yeah, be careful, and probably wear shoes. Alright, there's a fish on the buzz bait. I actually kind of just got to the spot. I wasn't filming, sadly. And what do you know, it's a spotted bass. Hey there, buddy. How's your day going? Out here fishing in the rain, top waters. My favorite kind of fishing. 
we caught ourselves a spot. See you later. The guy was right over this concrete piece, right where he's supposed to be. There we go, right under the dock. And it's a good one. All right, just fight it out, buddy. There we go. Look at that beast. You nailed it. It's bad I wasn't filming. You hit it pretty dang hard. Textbook right there. This is the kind of fish I was looking for when I came up here. Top waters under docks. Oh, gotta love it. Beautiful largemouth. Let's get him back in the water. He hit it right there. Way up under by that middle post. On the other hand, when you're flipping docks with a buzz bait, you start getting a lot of bending. Make any bad casts. The consequences aren't great. Got him. He's a little guy. Oh, he's off. Barely hit that thing, didn't even make a sound. Twice their size. Oh, branch just fell from that tree. Been lot, missing a lot of fish along the dam. None of them are very big. Still looking for that mega mouth. Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, poor towel. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs>